Hey guys, so I just finished watching the Death Note movie that came out on Netflix. I'm just like really disappointed. I'm disappointed like how this movie went about. I think this was just a missed opportunity like to make a really interesting film. Ugh, man. You have the main character Light and he writes down whatever name he writes down on the death note on the person dies, they kept that general story plot. But everything else, like, oh my god. It was all shit. It was all shit. Uh. There's a couple of things I really hated. One thing for sure I hated was that stupid, grotesque death scenes in this movie. If you watch Shot Found Destination or Saw, like the American horror films, like, you see that over-the-top, grotesque, gruesome, violent death scenes. It was not necessary. We didn't need to see that. We didn't need to see people getting their heads chopped off and, like, the blood splatter. The original series didn't need to do that. All they did was they just suffocate. That itself was so effective. I think they had to use that just to make it seem more, Oh, this is interesting. Second was Light as a character. <sighs> Light as a character in this film, he was a lot weaker. In the original series, we all loved Light as a character because he was this genius mastermind. He was a genius! At the same time, he was this psychotic kid that had this really twisted way of viewing what justice was. In this film, he wasn't a genius at all. In this movie, um, Light, he's this normal character. He's this normal high school student who was awkward, who was this misfit. He was smart and bright, but he wasn't a genius. And he's, he still had this part of humanity. He was questioning what his actions were. To be honest, his girlfriend Mia, she was more interesting than he was. She actually had more of this twisted view. She had more of the initiative to play the game to kill people. This, is, this kind of goes to my third um, why I hated it. We love Death Note because it was like this we this whole strategy game. Like we were trying to see how um, Light will survive as a killer. How he uses his mind to trick the government, trick the people around him. The main character Light, he didn't play the game. His girlfriend had to play for him. The only reason why he started doing like becoming Kira, he wanted to become this justice, uh, this figure of justice to kill all these uh, criminals in the world. Mia had to uh, pretty much influence him to start doing that, to help him um, start doing that killing spree. His girlfriend made the whole like strategies and moves. He didn't really do much. He kind of like listened to her. She's not even supposed to be the smart character. Like, you know? Oh my gosh. In the original series, Light was more independent. He he didn't need a girlfriend. He already knew who he was. He already knew like what he wanted. Because of that, like that's why we loved Death Note. Like he was an independent individual. He was this crazy kid. I think that's what is interesting about the series. Like what's in his head. Oh my gosh. What I didn't like about the movie was also L. His acting was good. I, I liked his acting. In this movie, L, he was a lot more emotionally. He was a lot more emotionally weaker. In like, the actual original series, L wasn't this emotional character. He was very um, logical. He had this weird behavior mannerisms, but he was never this emotional character. In this movie, we see L blow up and go crazy because he was so emotional. I didn't like that. It was out of character. Ah, uh, I'm just so disappointed the way they made Light and L. They made them some more emotional than they should have been. One thing I liked was Ryuk. He was on point. You can't go wrong with Ryuk. One thing I wanted to see more was just more of strategy. How um Light would survive. You don't really see that until like, the last 10 minutes of the film. The last 10 minutes, like really? Like, the last 10 minutes when I saw, wow, that's Death Note. Like... That's Death Note there. The movie really highlighted his relationship with his girlfriend, Mia. How he first meets her, and then in the end where, spoiler, she dies, um, to see if like she actually more was committed more to him or to the Death Note. Mia chooses the Death Note over his, um, Light. This is why I'm saying Mia was a stronger character than Light because she played the game. She actually cared more about the Death Note than Light himself. She was more Light than Light himself, if that makes sense. I think the main reasons why we all love Death Note it was it the the movie didn't capture it at all. 
The movie itself, as a movie, it was okay. It was an average movie in terms of being a Death Note movie. This was completely, completely disappointment. Bye, you guys. Bye.